Hi, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video we're going to be making really super simple jig to help you out gluing up picture frames. Now there are quite a lot of designs of these types of uh, jigs, clamping jigs, um, however in a way they're all more or less the same and what I decided to go for is the absolute the simplest you can make that actually works and hopefully this video will take you through the process and show you that you know sometimes the easiest and the simplest solutions are the best. Now the material I'm going to be using for my project is this laminated chipboard um, obviously not ideal material if you've got um, plywood that would be absolutely fantastic however I'm going to use what I've got in my workshop as you know the prices of absolutely everything are crazy so I'm going to be using that. So first of all, as you can see, I'm ripping it down on my table saw. Uh, I need four pieces in total. They're going to be five centimeters wide and 58 centimeters long. Now, why so long? Well, I want to have the ability to make uh, poster frames. So that's why mine is a little bit longer than it's usually necessary. I have marked the centers of the boards and every two centimeters I'm going to make a mark through which we're going to pre-drill a hole and that's to accommodate these star knobs. Obviously you can just use normal bolts. This will act as a quick stop for our corners but you'll see how that works a bit later on. As you can see I've clamped all four pieces together and I'm just pre-drilling the holes. Make sure that the size of the holes is equal to the bolt you're going to be threading through as your stop. So it's not too big and obviously not too small. At one end of each board I want to have a bolt going through. However the head needs to be flush with the board itself. So I'm going to be using a force snippet to create a groove for the head to go through. Now we're going to cut out two pieces, one for each arm. Uh, we're going to secure it with some star knobs on top as we do want to have free movement in these parts. Now the size of these uh, blocks are 13 centimeters long, 6 centimeters wide and I've just marked the places where the holes need to be for the bolts. Okay, let's put this together. Now we're just adding the star knobs. Uh, don't tighten them too much. We want the whole jig to actually be movable. Okay, now I've got four pieces that will act as the stoppers, the corner clamps for our picture frames. These are 10 centimeters in length and I've marked the middle of it in two uh, points. One will be a hole for a bolt like this one with a star knob so it's easy to place it onto our jig and the other one will uh, create a 45 degree uh, angle cut. Now the shape I'm going to cut out with my bandsaw. If you don't have one you can just use a handsaw or even a jigsaw. Now as you see that's more or less it. You place these stops. Uh, obviously you have to count down the holes whichever position. Both sides and you put your pieces uh, through to clamp it together with a normal 
um, clamp, whatever clamp you've got. However, I think I'm going to round over the edges as if I'm going to be doing smaller frames, the edges may get in the way. So I'm just going to sort that out right now. And I think I'm going to do the bases as well. To do that, I'm going to be using my bandsaw and then I refine the shape on my sander, as you can see right now. Okay, so the stops, one, two, three, four, five, depending obviously on the size of your frame. The short pieces go here. The longer pieces just here. Everything moves, okay? The arms, everything. That is just there to hold everything together. However, it all needs to be movable, okay? And basically, it will square itself out as you put pressure just over here. Okay. Grab yourself a clamp. And the jig itself will pull everything into square so you don't have to worry about being out of square anywhere. It's absolutely so simple to use. So let's make the glue up. I've got some uh, baking paper. I'm just going to put it underneath here to make sure my frame will not glue itself to um, our jig itself. And there you go, really simple jig, easy to use, easy to set up for different varieties, different sizes of frames that you could be doing. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased how this jig came out. And as you can see, it's a really nice and simple jig, easy to use, easy to set up. And when it's folded down, it's really easy to store anywhere, especially when you've got a small workshop and you don't have a lot of space. Now, obviously, I've done a um, few frames with this jig. And you can see on the corners, you know, no issues at all. Really nice and tight mitres. Obviously, I have got a jig for my mitre saw to cut out all the pieces to correct sizes. So if you are interested in a jig um, to cut out the pieces for the frames as well, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description of this video and in a pinned comment for you as well. But yes, I'm super happy with the jig. It's definitely something that I've really needed in my workshop to speed up the process of uh, clamping my frames. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this little project. If you did, drop me that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, you know, if you are interested in projects around workshop, jigs and everything else, I've got some really cool playlists that should pop up just now. So uh, go have a look. Maybe a video will pique your interest. So hopefully I'll see you on those videos there. Take care.